Hey guys, what is up? My name is Mate and today I'm going to show you what is minimalism and how to become a minimalist. It's an artistic movement and a lifestyle that only uses minimal and basic elements. It consists in getting rid of everything that you don't need and keeping it real simple. It's also about using the basic and essential for having a more practical and efficient life. It allows you to make decisions more conscious. Minimalism is a tool to rid yourself of life excess in favor of focusing on what's important so you can find happiness. So basically this is the architecture and interior design and it's really really simple and it's based on geometric shapes, neutral colors, plants and a lot of natural light. In fashion, as you can see, it often works with denim and the colors grey, black, white and camel. The outfits are really basic and they are complemented by really nice accessories, making it trendy but still keeping it minimal. Minimal art is based on geometric shapes, often rectangular and cubic, non-metaphoric shapes and neutral surfaces. It's not just about getting rid of all those things you don't need, like all those boxes you have at home, for example, or all those clothes you don't wear. It's also a way of using the basic and essential so you have a more efficient practice and satisfactory life taking care of the environment, your health, and your economy. Because it helps you rid yourself of life excess in favor of focusing on what's important so you can find happiness, fulfillment, and freedom from the trappings of the consumer culture we've built our lives around. It simply allows you to make decisions more consciously and more deliberately. You can use minimal style and not be using minimal lifestyle. But if you're living a minimalistic lifestyle, then you're automatically using minimalist style. It's kind of complicated. First, remember that minimalism is about getting rid of things that you don't need in your life. Not about getting rid of things that you need or make you happy. For example, work stuff. I need all the photography and lighting stuff because I work with that and I need it. But I don't need a coloring book from when I was six years old. But you won't give me the Discard the duplicate. For example, if you have copies of a book or a DVD, put one in the box. Once you feel it, put it away off your side for 30 days. If you don't need anything about that box, get rid of it. Declare a clutter-free zone. This area will be the kitchen table, your desk, your nightstand, etc. Expand the zone a little bit each day. This will help you to stay super organized. So I hope you guys liked this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel, it's my DG and my Spanish channel, it's my DGMX. And remember that I will link all my social media down below so you guys can follow me. And please comment if you want another minimalism video. If you like minimalism, what do you think about it? And if you like the fashion and all that stuff. So I see you guys next week. Bye.